and welcome to the final episode of Baking with Jay. Today we are making vanilla pudding cookies. How exciting. The first step is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You're then going to take your one cup of butter that your assistant put into the bowl because it needs to be softened. You're going to take three quarter cup, three quarter cup of packed brown sugar and you're going to put that into your bowl of one cup softened butter. Make sure you don't get your little bear in your cup of packed brown sugar because it's not going to work out well for the bear. Three quarter cup into the bowl. You're then going to take your granulated sugar and you're going to take a quarter cup of that and put that into your bowl as well. Then you're going to take your handy dandy mixture and mix it all up. It just sprayed on me. Next, you're going to take your secret ingredient of vanilla pudding and you're going to blend that into your mixture as well. into the bowl and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. It's a lot of vanilla apparently. And then you're going to mix that together too. Okay, now that your wet ingredients are all mixed together, you're going to place that aside. You're going to start on your dry ingredients. You need two cups and one quarter of flour. We're gonna not get it everywhere this time because that's what we've learned in this genius hour. Don't get flour everywhere. And then you're gonna take your one teaspoon of baking soda and mix that in with your flour. Make sure it's leveled. And then you're just gonna stir it all together so it's evenly distributed. And then you're gonna take your wet ingredients, you're gonna take your dry ingredients, and you're going to slowly Keyword slowly, mix it into your wet ingredients until it's all blended smoothly. And then like always, when the assistant says spatula, you spatula the sides. You can really smell the vanilla. <laughs> the oven's ready. Too bad the dough is not ready. So now your dough is ready, but you gotta add the chocolate chips. So you're gonna take two cups, semi-sweet chocolate chips, pour that into the batter. Okay, pour, pour, pour. And then you're gonna stir that all together. She thick, she real thick. Wow. You gotta really put some muscle into this one. I'm cleaning my station. It's a lot. So now that you basically just have a bowl of chocolate chips with a little bit of dough, you're going to get your lined baking sheets to plop them on. So because I have no idea how this dough expands, because I never made them before, we're only going to put two by four on the cookie sheet just to see what's going on. It's See if they expand into each other or not, and then we'll reevaluate as we go on. Like, do you guys see this? It's literally just chocolate chips. It's just a ball of chocolate chips. Not that I'm complaining. You can never have too many chocolate chips, but this is ridiculous. This dough is also great because it's not sticky at all. It's not like the applesauce cookies that did not come off my fingers. Okay, and then once your dough is all rolled, you're going to put it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. So we're going to do 11 and then see what they look like. And now we patiently wait for the beep. Patiently? Not very patiently. <laughs> one more minute. 19 more seconds. Two, one. And finished product. They're really doughy. Ooh. Ah. Yum. Ooh. 
Yo, look, look, look. I'm gonna show you guys what I did. This is magical. I'm gonna move you. Ready? Look. I, I hit the oven mitts down and the paper stuck to the table. <laughs> Say hello, assistant. You're the special guest for this round. All right. So this is Ricardo. He's our special guest. He's gonna try our cookie. You didn't even look at it for aesthetic. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Five for aesthetic. Mm -hmm. You're such an easy marker. Oh, oh right. it's a six. It's a six for aesthetic. Five for taste. Are you just hungry? <laughs> oh, four for consistency and five for overall enjoyment. Secret ingredient. Can you even taste it because you ate it so fast? He's contemplating. It's... I'm totally sure. Caramel? Caramel. No. No? What are your, uh... Thoughts and comments before I tell you what it is. <laughs> has a weird aftertaste. A weird aftertaste, but you gave it a five. <laughs> but it's good. But, I, but like after I gave it all these scores, I was like, oh wow. So do you want to change your score from a five, uh, yeah. or is it still a five? I'm gonna change it to a good. No, you know, I want to put like a four and a half. Four like and a half. Point five. Eighteen point five. Twenty. How is that twenty? 20 is a perfect score. Yes, well, it's 6. Okay, you can't give it a 6. Oh, no, it's not. It's not 20. See, it's a 19.5. The secret ingredient is actually vanilla pudding. Remember how you said pudding? Interesting. But why vanilla? I said chocolate pudding. You just said you pudding. You just said pudding. Did I? Yeah. Oh. So you got vanilla because... It's good, but... The funny thing is, is that we had already picked this recipe before you blurted out yeah, pudding. Yeah, no, I want pudding. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we had already picked it. Well, that worked out. Okay, say goodbye. Bye. Bye.